say they're, they're coming out of the same-sex context in particular. We, we've always had some issues with unmarried couples, heterosexual couples who have children together, and those, those tend to be paternity cases, what I would almost call like a garden variety family dispute that most family law attorneys will see. A typical paternity case would be a couple that maybe had a sexual relationship but never had a long term, they never got married, they never lived together, and then there are issues there about how they're going to co-parent this child, and those are pretty, they're, they're clearly handled by the paternity statute and the child support statutes. The more challenging ones that we have seen over the years in the non-traditional arena tend to be those coming out of the same-sex couples who have gotten together, had families, either that one of the parties had a child from a prior relationship that they bring into this new relationship, or they decide to create a family while they're together. And what's created the challenge there in that being a non-traditional family and that it wasn't provided for by in the law as we had it was, how do we create that family legally? Because the goal typically is in any kind of a, of a situation where there's children is to create a legally recognized parent-child relationship. Parents want to have the law recognize them as a legal parent to their child. Outside of a marital relationship, we've had a clear statutory way to do that. The child is born to somebody, that mother's name goes on the birth certificate, she is the legal parent of that child just by operation of law. The other parent, let's stick with the male, a, a heterosexual couple, if that father wants to protect his rights, he's got to do something affirmatively. He's got to sign a recognition of parentage form at the hospital if the birth mother will allow him, that gets his name on the birth certificate, or he brings a paternity action. Many times paternity actions are brought by the county because they're trying to recover public support going to the mother and child, but somebody brings it and there's a court order that says you are the legal father of this child and your name's on the birth certificate. The challenge with non-traditional families has been, oh, one other thing is if you're married and you have a child, both spouses' names automatically go on the birth certificate. That's proof of their parentage. So you can't get married, you're a same-sex couple. Um, you don't get married, you're a same-sex couple what are your options for making a legally recognized parent-child relationship? Well, we've struggled with this. Greatly we've struggled with this up until the time the law changed last August to make the marriage available to everybody. What we have done is we have created a statu we have created an adoption procedure called a second parent adoption, which is not provided for in the law and always makes us nervous because adoption is what we call a creature of statute, which means it's governed by statute, you must follow the statute clearly and carefully and precisely, and if you don't, you could have a legal challenge down the road. So we've done these second parent adoptions, which are an exception, but the courts have been willing to do it without the statute saying it. And basically, it would be a same-sex couple coming in and convincing an adoption court that we're just like any other couple, we're a stable, in a stable relationship, let us both adopt this child. And so you'd get both names on a birth certificate and in an adoption decree. Well, now that we have the, the, um, the same-sex marriage statute, which says all other areas of the law must recognize that, now same-sex married couples can do a garden variety step-parent adoption, just like heterosexuals have done for decades. So we're creating issues there. The other area where we've had a lot of um, non-traditional family legal issues have been in custody and visitation disputes when those relationships break down. Because again, a, uh, an unmarried same-sex couple who, however they got the children involved in their family, when they need to have court involvement in deciding custody and parenting time, the statutes have never fit well. And there have been lots of complicated issues as to whether the non-legal parent in that relationship had even standing, which is the lawyer's term for saying, can you bring an action in court, to even ask the court to do it. So we've had to sort of shoehorn those kinds of cases into our third-party custody and visitation statute in order to get that to work. And so that's led to some really complicated, difficult litigation over the years with lots of high emotions and fraught with lots of unhappy people because they haven't liked the outcome. It's, it's been some pretty harsh results as a result of that. Mm -hmm.